guys, today we're going to be talking about Christmas decor and I'm going to show you how to do it without cluttering up your home with a bunch of stuff that you can only use for one month out of the year because that's annoying. Two, how to do it without spending a ton of money. The first thing I want to talk about is where I'm sitting right now is my living room. I say it like this because technically I'm in my kitchen. This is just a fireplace that we don't use as a fireplace. We just put a little Japanese couch in front of it to make it feel more homey. So little things that you can do to make this area look more Christmassy is add some stuffies. So I put him on the couch. His name is Nico. A holiday pillow, but I can honestly just flip it around and use it any other time of the year. And it blends in really nicely with my couch and it has fur on it. So I love it. Another little thing you can do is add a blanket. So this is a throw blanket that I got from Kohl's. It's red and black plaid, which is like the standard Christmas colors to me. I can use this pretty much any time during the winter. It doesn't have to just be Christmas because it doesn't have Santa or anything on it like that. So this can transition as well as be thrown up in the closet and not take up that much room. We recently just got a tree. So I think we're just gonna have it there. I might do a video about how to create your own tree topper for a mini tree because I went to Target to look at the tree toppers and I was not amused to say the least. But this is a handy down tree. You can find them for pretty cheap in a lot of different places. So this is just a short one and it comes with the lights already on it, which I recommend because that's not fun, <laughs> having to string lights on a tiny tree and then it starts to look kind of tacky. So if you have a small space, you don't have room for a typical tree. Plus, fun fact, I'm allergic to Christmas trees, so yeah. Instead of buying expensive artwork for the holidays, try a window cling. This one is super cute. For a little bit of fun, I made my own banner with some ribbon and some extra stockings and little things that you would put on presents. If you're not a crafty person, browse the Target dollar section right when you walk in the store. That's where I got this banner and it was only $3. Instead of spending $15, $20 on each stocking, we spent $3 on these ones. They are the ready to decorate ones from Target. My sister had the idea to put some vinyl glitter paper on it with our initials, which turned out pretty cute. Going through the top, I got these lights from Costco. They have about eight different settings from blinking, flashing, fading, all of that good stuff. They were only $10 and this is only one of the four sets that came in the pack. We just moved this stuff around so it looks a little bit more different and festive. So this is a picture I made Jessie. It's one of my favorite things in the house so we left it up. I also have this bear that I just put out for Christmas. He's dressed up like Santa and it is actually a Cheesecake Factory bear that my dad got me a long time ago. So these are actually glass candle holders, but instead we put some candy in them and a bow on top. Yes, I know the chocolate's not festive, but it has to be eaten up before we can go buy the festive chocolate. At least that's what we're telling ourselves. Frosty is yet another stuffy addition to the Christmas decor, and my sister actually got him for me, so he's pretty special. To finish off this side of the house, I actually made this bow with some ribbon that was laying around the house, and I'm going to show you guys how I made it. But stay tuned because that's going to be at the end of the video. On to some kitchen decorating ideas, or in my case, the other side of this room. The first thing you can do is decorate with some napkins, whether that be disposables or some unpapered towels. So we had these Snoopy ones out for Thanksgiving, and for Christmas we're going to have out these sweater reindeer ones. Tissues can be a great piece of decor. This one's really neutral, but you can get one that has Christmas all over it. If you made your own unpaper towels, you can also exchange your dish towel for an unpaper towel one that's more Christmassy. This one is pretty neutral and small because it's made to be a unpaper towel, not a dish towel, but let's just pretend it's a lot longer. <laughs> Another thing that we have in the kitchen is some decorative hand soap and a air freshener. For some wall decor, I put up a postcard that I got from MeUndies a couple years ago with the little logo and the antlers which I think is pretty cute and I also have this sticker of Olaf and I've had it for a long time so I decided to put it up on the wall. Since before I moved into the treehouse I've had these little canvases. I have three total so this is the winter one. I also have a summer and a fall one and I just switch them out based on the season. You probably have a special accessory that you love or something in your room that you use a lot during Christmas 
and winter time so show it off put it on display put it on your dresser somewhere that you're gonna see it and feel a little bit extra spark of the season in the bathroom i didn't want to go overboard so i just put two things in there that are christmasy so i have this frosted cranberry soap and this t-rex loofah my sister got me both of these so i just stuck it on this mirror because every time i walk in the bathroom he makes me smile another thing that makes me smile are these little gnome cups yes you could do without them but they are functional you can have them out on the table for cute little decor piece and they're just so cute i feel like gnomes are such a trend this year i couldn't say no so i got the one with the silver hat and the one with the gold hat and they also have little eyes when you take off the hat. Ah, it's so cute. Plus, the little hat actually functions as a coffee warmer, hot chocolate warmer, whatever your beverage of choice is. Once Christmas is over, this is the box that I'm going to store all of my stuff in. So I just have the rest of the Christmas lights in here, some ribbon, and the boxes for most of the stuff that I put out. The tutorial I am following along with is actually from Rose Home Improvement. It's about a minute and 30 seconds and it is just super easy and straightforward to follow. And yes, I forgot to buy ribbon wire or floral wire, whatever type of wire it is. So I'm actually using the ones that have come with our food and pastries and different things like that, which worked just as well, so it's fine. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and content from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright. Oh, and go check out my blog, maddiearmfake.com. Bye!